What's happening, everyone? It is Jeremy J coming at you with Dido next to my tripod. Hi, Dido. <laughs> this video is how to show up for someone else. Let's just jump right into this, shall we? No BS. First thing. Reach out to that person through text or phone calls or a visit and do it just to do it without asking for anything. Just show up and say, I'm here for you. And ask for nothing. Kitty hair. Don't ask for kitty hair. That's just a byproduct of Dido. <laughs> Give of yourself and your value. No expectations. How often should you do this? As often as you feel is good. More than once a year, please. Frequently enough to show that you care. That's how you show up for someone. Imagine, for a moment, someone contacts you and they just say, Hey, I was thinking about you today. I just wanted to tell you that you're awesome. I appreciate you. Carry on. Pretty powerful. It's a witnessing and, and an acknowledging. Now always recognize that there's two sides to every coin, to every equation, to every situation. If your attention, if your attention and value is not being reciprocated or or valued or you can tell you're not being wanted too much, then yeah, pay attention to that as well. But I would say for the most part, you can show up for someone in this way and the situation is good if you do that because you showed up. You showed up for them in a way that doesn't usually happen. Most of the time when someone contacts me, they need something. I need your listening ear. I need you to drive me to this place. I need to ask you something, etc., etc. So that's how you show up for someone. How else do you show up for someone? Number two. You, you honor, you, you stand firmly centered, rooted, and grounded in the presence of their shadow side. We all have a shadow side. I've got it. Fears, doubts, insecurities, frustrations, anger. Lots of it, man. Like, lots of stuff. Um, okay, that was my, uh, that was my work. My, I work at home and when I do these videos during lunch, sometimes I get notification pop-ups. So it's just a little tidbit from my life I'm sharing with you. So when someone is, when someone is showing you their shadow side, and this can be in a variety of ways, they're getting angry at you, they're lashing out at you. They're acting a little different than they normally would. Maybe they're saying something mean about you or their behavior's odd. You will know when someone is in their shadow side because you will say, this isn't normally like how this person would act. What they're doing is very strange, even kind of hurtful what they're doing to me, but I know that this isn't normally how they behave. So I'm seeing their shadow and the way 
the way I show up for someone with that is to just be like this. Let it bounce off me and just be a strong, firm, rooted, grounded mountain for it. Whatever it is. To not react, to not get emotional about it. To be able to see what it is, but to stand firm and strong to it. A lot of the times when someone's acting in their shadow, you can't communicate with them. There's no reasoning that's possible. So you just have to stand firm and love energetically from a distance. That's another way to show up for someone. Number three, proactively do something for this person. Bring them something you know they like. Take them to something they like an event of some kind. Mention something that you saw or heard that is in resonance with what they like or care about. Listen to this person. Listen to them. Listen to their feedback as they talk to you and adjust and give back having heard their feedback. I'll give, I'll give an example of this. Someone I have gone out with a few times um, in the last month. Someone I've gone out with. I've gone out with her a few times now. And um, I like, I, I, if I'm attracted to someone, I like to kiss. And sometimes I, when I kiss, I get, I get kind of, uh, into it really fast and, and I know I'm not the only one that does this and as she said she said to me one time I like to kiss your lips and not and don't use your tongue right away and uh, so once or twice I kind of forgot this but then I was like wait a minute and I stopped and I kissed her and and I basically presented to her exactly what she wanted and she gobbled it up because I listened and it takes me, it takes me a, quite a number of times to listen. So I'm not perfect here. That's for sure. But I eventually got it and I could see the light in her eyes and everything. You will light up someone's life. If you take their feedback, and actually do an action in accordance with their feedback. It's pretty incredible. So we'll call number three, um, the, I kind of said uh, several things like proactively doing for them things that they want, but let's call it number three, adjust your behavior in accordance with their feedback and do things that you know they will like. All right, what's number four? You will show up for someone by showing up for yourself. Show up for yourself in the way you treat your body, the foods you partake of, the exercise you do, the mental stimulation you give yourself, the learnings, all the things that help you grow and strengthen as a person, because there is a saying, I will take care of me for you if you will take care of you for me. Not, I will take care of you for me if you will take care of me for you. Always take care of yourself first and foremost. And by doing so, you become a light and an energy and a presence for someone else. That's really good. So show up for yourself. <laughs> Number five, probably the most difficult one here, number five. Be willing to listen for long periods of time when they have some things to say. We all want to be heard and understood and seen. We as humans don't get the chance very often for that. Unfortunately, 
It's a, a gaping hole in humanity. How unfrequently we are heard, listened to, understood, and responded to in a way that this other entity human soul shows us that they got us, that they understood us. It's always what we want to say. It's always me, 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 listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. But if you can take the time to shed the ego, to set aside your needs and wants for a moment and truly listen to someone. Now, obviously you don't want to be a permanent therapist that just gets siphoned from, you don't want an energy vampire but don't, don't get this twisted. Don't take this to such an extreme that you think everyone's an energy vampire. They're not. Sometimes someone truly wants you to hear them and listen and understand. And all you need to do is look them in the eye, take all your thoughts, set them aside for a period of time, and listen. And listen to them. And when you do that, watch what happens when you do that and you can communicate to them and hear everything they have to say until their cup is emptied watch what happens watch watch the magic that happens you do these five things you will you will connect with someone if they are able to do them back to you it's rare when a person can do all these five things. <laughs> I don't know many that can. I know a few good souls. Less than five fingers, less than five souls, I'd say, and, and that I know in my entire life that are capable of these five things. But they're out there. And the way to handle this is to become it. All right, this is how you really show up for someone. This is how you do it. All right, you are appreciated. Namaste, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.